Hey everybody, it's Joe N3HEE here uh, with a short video tutorial of my new Amazon Alexa skill called Continuous Wave. And as the name implies, it's a skill that helps you learn Morse code. Um, Continuous Wave is uh, for everybody from the uh, absolute beginner to the more advanced uh, uh, CW Morse code operators that uh, want to practice uh, random words, call signs, sentences, um, and, and more advanced things like that, contest exchanges. Uh, Continuous Wave is made up of several uh, learning modules, and I'll start to go through them on this uh, video, and maybe we'll have to uh, continue this in another part. But um, Continuous Wave is now available in all five English-speaking locales. So if you're in an English-speaking locale with an English device, you should be able to go to the Amazon Alexa store, the skill, st skill store that is, and download and enable uh, Continuous Wave for use. As long as you have a, uh, an Alexa device like this, uh, this is a dot, but you can have the uh, many other uh, devices that they have. Uh, this will also work on the uh, Sonos uh, uh, audio speaker with uh, Alexa built in. We've got confirmation on that and you can use it on that. You can also use it on any other device like a cell phone that has the Amazon Alexa app installed and uh, you can use uh, Continuous Wave through that as well. So even if you don't have uh, a, a device like this you can still use it uh, with an iOS or Android device with the uh, with the uh, Amazon shopping app installed. So uh, it's very simple to use and I'll go through some of the basics. But to open it, basically, it's a simple command of uh, Alexa, open continuous wave. And then she's going to give you a menu choice. And we'll go through that right now. So I'm going to unmute her speaker, and we'll see if we can get her to work. I have my device set to English UK uh, for testing, and I like the way it sounds. Alexa, open continuous wave. Welcome to Continuous Wave. I can help you learn and practice Morse code. Just say learn or practice. Learn. What character would you like to learn? A. A. Tell me a character to learn. B. B. Say a character to learn. One. One. What character would you like to learn? Comma. Comma. What character would you like to learn? Period. Period. What character would you like to learn? Alexa, stop. Goodbye. See you soon. Okay, so that was the learning module. That would be for a very beginner that does not know the Morse code or wants to practice uh, learning the uh, characters and numbers and some punctuation. Um, those were characters at 20 words per minute, and they're repeated three times. Um, in this learning module so that uh, you can hear the sound that the code makes. And that's why I repeated them uh, three times and I kept the uh, character speed at 20 words per minute. You can also get to go directly to the uh, module, the learning module, and there's a shortcut for that. And we'll try that as an example. Alexa, ask Continuous Wave to learn Morse code. Tell me a character to learn. A. A. Tell me a character to learn. Stop. Goodbye. See you soon. So there's a there's a shortcut to uh, every module. In that one, we just simply said, con ask Continuous Wave to learn Morse code. So you don't have to hear the beginning again once you start to become more familiar with the app.
or the skill rather. The next uh, part of this uh, uh, skill is the practice module. So once you start to learn the code and want to practice it, um, I've built a random code generator that will um, play characters for you and then you have to answer to what they are. So let's give that a try. Again, you can go directly to that and uh, I'll do that this time. Alexa, ask Continuous Wave to practice Morse code. Do you know what this is? You. You said it was you. It was you. Do you know what this is? Two. You said it was two. It was two. Can you guess what this is? R. You said it was R. It was R. Tell me what this is. Stop. Goodbye. See you soon. So that part of it is a module that's sort of like a guessing game that just keeps on going and going and going. As long as you want to go, it will randomly pick uh, uh, a letter, a number, or a punctuation that was in the learning module for you to practice. Um, those are sent, obviously, one time at 20 words per minute. It makes it just a little more difficult, but I wanted to put... Uh, Put that in there um, so that uh, it was just one character and uh, I think that should uh, work out pretty well. Um, once you get on to learning the code and practicing the code and you start to become a little more proficient at it and want to challenge yourself, then you can move on to uh, listening to uh, maybe common words for instance and uh, we'll, we'll demonstrate that. And again you can go there directly uh, through a shortcut and we'll try that. Alexa, ask Continuous Wave to practice common words. Here are some common words for you to practice. The word the. Of. Alexa, stop. What would you like to practice next? Stop. Goodbye. See you soon. So those are words that are uh, 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 the common words. There's about 300 common words in my list. Um, you have to choose a word that's in the list. And uh, usually if you... Uh, um, Oh, never mind. Um, I'm thinking about a different module, which is a word generator, which actually spells words for you. On this list, there's uh, over 300 words in a recording, each repeated three times. That's at 20 words a minute, and I left a little bit of space uh, between words uh, in there to uh, uh, make it uh, a little bit easier to copy. Um, you can also um, uh, practice words. And you can do that by having saying a word and then having her spell it for you. So we'll give that a try. That's become a pretty popular use on this uh, skill so far. Alexa, ask Continuous Wave to practice words. Give me a word to spell. This. This. Give me a word to spell. Is. As. Give me a word to spell. That. That. Say a word for me to spell. Stop. Goodbye. See you soon. So that's how that goes. That's the uh, word generator module. And uh, that one, you have to uh, make sure that the word is on the list. If you get, if you pick a wrong word, she'll tell you that it's not uh, not on her list and to choose another word. But if you uh, if you find a common word list uh, um, on on Google, just uh, it, most of the common uh, uh, 100 English words 
um, I've got already built into this, so you should be okay. Um, we'll move on quickly to uh, the sentences, and uh, we'll also move on to uh, call signs, and um, let you hear what that sounds like, and some contest exchanges. So I'll demonstrate here where once you open the skill, you can just simply say the module that you want. So, Alexa, open Continuous Wave. Welcome to Continuous Wave. I can help you learn and practice Morse code. Just say learn or practice. Call signs. Here are some call signs to practice. So now this is a pre-recording of a bunch of call signs. This goes on for 30 or so minutes, so it's a very long uh, audio file that will just keep playing. With these audio files, all you have to do to stop it is just ask her to stop it. Alexa, stop. What would you like to practice next? Sentences. Here are some sentences for you to practice. Again, this is just another long audio recording of a bunch of sentences that I put together that are very easy with common words that keep repeating. Again, to stop this, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. What would you like to practice next? Random words. Here are some random words for you to practice. Alexa, stop. What would you like to practice next? QSO. Please say a valid response. So that's what happens if you say something that she doesn't understand. She, she'll prompt you. The quick brown Here fox. Here are some random words for you mm -hmm. to practice. Not that. Alexa, stop. What would you like to practice next? The quick brown fox. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog's back. So this is for sending practice. Alexa, stop. What would you like to practice next? Stop. Goodbye. See you soon. So the quick brown fox is put in there because in CW Academy, uh, we use the quick brown fox for sending practice because it has... Uh, every letter of the alphabet, and it's a good sending practice drill. So I built that in there uh, just uh, as a uh, shout out to CW Academy and uh, my students with uh, how I uh, drill them on um, uh, sending practice. Um, that's generally uh, how the skill works. Uh, I hope that uh, you'll give it a try, and if you like it, please uh, give me a rating. Uh, and uh, and certainly I'm open to feedback. I'm sure that uh, the, the, uh, there will be another version available here soon. I've got uh, 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 some plans to make it so that uh, uh, the user can change the uh, code speed. Uh, right now that's not possible because I'm using pre-recorded audio files and would have to have another set of files for each speed that a user would select. I tried it and it becomes very cumbersome uh, to uh, program the skill, it also becomes uh, confusing for the user. So I'm working on that as a, a second release of this skill. Um, so far, the skill has uh, been used uh, by well over 150 uh, unique users, and uh, we're approaching 700 uses in the last seven or in the last 30 days. So it's being used uh, 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 quite often, and uh, I've gotten very favorable uh, feedback and the skill seems to work pretty well. So enjoy, give it a try, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks, this is Joe, N3HEE, saying 73.